Good morning, my lovelies. <laughs> you are my lovelies and these gorgeous cubic frost variegated and look, the sun comes out and say, look at this, look at this one. I am showing you this because I want to put something in this pot. I want to bring this inside and put a few more variegated plants into this one. But for the meantime, these are all cuttings that I've taken about a week now, I'd say, six days, maybe. So roughly, let's just guesstimate a week. And they have been out here and we had rain yesterday and storm, big storm, oh my goodness. And they're doing fine. They're doing well. Look at them, all them cuttings. And look at that one. That one's even wet. But today I decided to go around and show you my cleaning of my flower stalks or stems or blooms from my succulent. So this one, let's start off with this one. I actually, I can't touch that one because I need to plant that somewhere in the front. And I don't want to touch it because I want to put the leaves. So after harvesting the leaves, I want to put this one where it's going to grow. For the meantime, I managed to find a lid for my coffee so it stops it from getting cold so it can, I can enjoy it longer. So this is my second cup of coffee. So for now, I'm gonna have a sip and we'll go around the garden and clean up some succulents. First off the bat, I saw this Sedum clavatum that's flowering, that's just fallen over and it's growing a flower stalk or have grown a flower stalk from when I cut it. But look at the, the roots that should be planted, but I've run out of granite for one. And then now I have to process the granite and make my soil mix so I don't have soil <laughs> to plant my succulents in. But so recently I've been putting most of my succulents and big pots like this so in here you can see i got a one two three four five eleven twelve thirteen thirteen fourteen no no that's part of this one yeah are you yes maybe fifteen no fourteen thirteen or fourteen no i don't like to say thirteen lucky thirteen but anywho, this one's now, where did you come from? So the birds has been coming in here and plucking the, <laughs> I don't even know where you came from. So anyway, but it does have some seeds that sort of dry up or dried up, but not that one. Yes, it's got some seeds or oh, that one. Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to have some plants growing in here and saying uh, it doesn't look like the mom <laughs> but anyway this one where are you oh Caesar I have another Caesar so this is my second Caesar so I just recently bought this one and it is so gorgeous I, I'm just curious to see where the other Caesar is because I take pride in saying that I know where my plants are but anyway let's go find it quickly I'm just spinning around walking walking and it has to be somewhere are you Caesar let me see because you do look like oh that's lovely Q up there look lovely Q and this one what's your name oh there you go Caesar oh hail Caesar now Caesar can go there I'm actually comparing the plants that I bought to see what the differences or the similarities because they do kind of look similar. I got some plants here that look so much similar. Those ones at the back are sort of orange or, or juicy orange. So Princess Cece Farpilla. This one is Love Letter. But it kind of look like this one, I think. See, look similar. That one is Love Letter and that one is... Show me your name. I know your name, but something with an F. Floridity. There you go. So Floridity... <laughs> And love letter kind of looks similar isn't it see look at that so a lot of these plants I find now that I'm buying or oh, that one is sunburn that's Lone Star I don't know what's wrong with me I paid 22 for dollars for that one and I think 12 for this one so why didn't I just get two of this size instead for an extra two dollars something's wrong with my brain sometimes it doesn't work properly so this one is butterfly cloth and that one on the left is Jupiter 
Now, I do have another Jupiter somewhere that I don't know where I put it now, but it looks different to this Jupiter. So, are you, are oh, this one, a Jasper, just Jasper, sorry, not ja Jupiter. It is Jasper. Yeah, there you go. So, I'm getting my lines crossed. So, Jasper, not Jupiter. Okay, so Jasper and Jasper and butterfly cloth so it looks similar to me so anyway so especially that one see uh, and it used to be more colorful before and it sort of dried up and I haven't changed the soil since I bought it because I haven't got any soil to change it to so I still have to mix up my soil but you can see the similarity so anyway so one that's one of the reasons and even this one this Mundi but it looks like this Jasper see those two look very similar and now if we go here that looks that one similar to that one but never mind we, well, let's go back to the area where my coffee is I want to show you this cute little porbosarum look at that so this is apparently this is being sold as polytomica so let's just pull that out okay so we can look at it better isn't that cute oh my goodness that is beautiful so gorgeous how old are you i can't remember but you would have to be at least a year old but you are so beautiful i need to pull you out and plant you somewhere like maybe together with this pot because look okay so there's space so we're gonna squeeze it in there i knew there are 13, 14, <laughs> I didn't even see that one, Yuki there, that's leaf grown, uh, I, I stuck it there, so now I got this cute little, oh, look at that, oh, it's so pretty, definition and cute, small and ugly, <laughs> isn't that gorgeous, beautiful color, so anyway, let's go have a look at something, what am I doing, I forgot now, oh yes, I want to show you this one, this plant is called, I'll move that, propagation tray over there now this one is called jewel and look how big that is and I got this from Jocelyn Ainsworth and that's the name it was given jewel it hasn't put out any babies but I thought this kind of look very similar to a plant I have outside in the garden called hyperion so I would really like to compare this with that one while we're on the subject of comparison yeah so this one now I need to have a look at the front here. What is this one here? What are you? This is called Lawi, called Lawi Linsayana, cross Linsayana it is. But it kind of looks like Delulu. See, so I have a Delulu that's sort of similar, although this one is kind of smaller. So it does look like it's got a lot of Lawi in it. And also it's flowering at the moment and on the flower stalk there's a lot of leaves so okay i'm just gonna okay and just show you this one i don't know if you could see that one but see the flower stalk put that there and on the stem there's all these leaves oh which is very sensitive we just barely breathe on it and it falls off look at that okay so these ones now i can actually propagate that so there you go. I'm going to come back to it. They will grow fast in here or they will grow normal, not really fast, but they grow faster when they're indoors. But I am going to, I don't know yet whether I'm going to pull out this pot here because this is a Yamatorin here is being, maybe I can remove the Yamatorin or something and move that somewhere or I better move all these leaves over in the opposite side there. Oops, I broke my, oh. Heart's choice, but anyway, heart's delight, sorry, broken, so never mind. So this one's now, even any leaves that are like this, I like to keep. Because you just never, never know if they're going to grow. And if they do, they'll be good, but if not, it's, uh, no. So look at that, all the way along, you can see all those leaves. Anyway, I'm going to come back to that one. So there's a few of them here. Look, lots, lots, lots of uh, leaves that I can harvest and grow into Puli Linse or Lawi cross Linsayana. 
and over here I'm gonna swap now so I'll move this one over there and I'll take this one I'm gonna go back to the topic of one of these things look like the other <laughs> so now this plant here or this pot here I've got Poldensis Kevin up the top and what are you Yamato Springs or Yamato Haru this is Puli Linseyan over here and this one is Happy Green did I get it right? Yes, Puli Linsayana, Yamato Spring. Yes, I still know my plant. Now, also another Yamato Springs that I love is this one, or Yamato Haru or Yamato Springs. Look how beautiful those red margins on the edge of the leaves. It's just a beautiful, beautiful plant. And also there's another one. Um, I forgot now, but anyway. <laughs> oh, my goodness trying to remember it yes I have to cheat and have a quick peek moon gardeners also look similar except the moon gardeners has got a lot of the bluish tone on the inside of the leaves more like Poldensis Kevin here so the sort of blue hue here so this is looks similar to the moon gardeners and this Poldensis Kevin looks similar to Puli Linsayana and it sort of graduates and then the the coloration sort of looks similar to this but this one is just pointy again so this one is closer to that one or that one closer to that one vice versa and this one is sort of coming out of more of the agavoidis look now this is happy green and happy green has finished flowering or the flowers or the flower stalk has dried up and whether it got pollinated I don't know but what I like to do is just put the seeds over here like that so this is the reason why as much as possible if there's no aphids or mealybug most of the time I find that if you water them the aphids actually uh, you can't sort of if the aphids come it's because of the new shoots the mealybug only comes when it's dry but if you do water them just to stop the mealybug then the fungus nuts comes <laughs> so it's a vicious cycle so anyway this one now i really love that one so i'm gonna <laughs> so now if they do grow i don't know which is which i can't tell so i have to wait till they grow up and in the end eventually i am not going to be after the name of the plant I'm just more after <laughs> into the look of the plant. So if I see that the plant looks nice, I'm gonna buy it. If I do buy some more plants in the future, which I'm sure I will still, but I'm not gonna be as crazy buying as I do now. See all those paper, it's just full of fungus gnats. And fortunately, do we have bees? No, yes, no bees. I don't like it when the bees, oh, just those giant, oh, that's the male fungus nuts. Look at that, look how big that is. So apparently the big ones like that, that's the male. Oh, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah, anyway, like that biggest one there. So now I'm gonna go up the top and, oh my goodness, I am, mesmerized with my plants oh yes i got to show you this one this is my lovely bear monstros lovely bear and then that one what are you forgot what your name is now but this lovely bear where's that one that one there look at that lots of babies i got a one two three maybe four on the other side and five on the other side i can't see but the mummy itself is sort of dying does it mean you want me to chop you off? I might have to, to make way for the babies to grow. So we have this thing happening where in the mummy grows, I mean the baby grows and trying to kill the mummy. They're like octopus, isn't it? The octopus, when they lay eggs, after they finish laying their eggs and setting their, leg, their legs up, <laughs> setting their eggs up, they die. So I think a lot of the plants actually it's probably similar to a lot of the animals so we are nothing but mammals so let's do it like they do in the discovery channel okay let's go up the top before i go up the top i just want to show you my gypsy or graptivaria mrs richards this one actually sort of i had one i was given one mrs richards and it started putting out babies and nearly died 
so I brought it outside here and it's starting to recover it lost all its leaves and it got attacked by fungus gnats inside and outside it got attacked by mealybugs so that's still like white fluffy stuff that are still remnant from the mealybug that attacked it but now it has a one two three four five six maybe seven six i'll just be conservative six babies or rosette heads now that are growing so you can see from the other side it is six yeah there's another baby there so you can see the effects of the diseases and insecto that affected it hang on where did you come from see the birds been here again and been playing with my plants even the birds like to play with my plants anyway <laughs> So Mrs. Richards here is now recovering nicely and I do love Mrs. Richards. So this is the variegated form and even the standard form which I have somewhere around my feet here. Hang on, where are you? The beautiful plant. Look, look at the tips there. That's, I think the color, the variegation is that that's what we're aiming for. But let's go look at the normal one. Oh, hello, Chihuahua. Chihuahua, I love my Chihuahua. Oh, look at that, beautiful. The, the variegation is coming along nicely, but let's go over on the other side. So Mrs. Richards here is also flowering. And I would really like to get hold of some seeds from Mrs. Richard. And this, this is the reason why I did not chop, 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 because normally I would remove all the stalks to stop the mealybug. Oh, then why did you not remove this one so this one here is Eleanor I should really be removing that like that you're just cleaning up there you go all gone because she has to go into the front and only if the wind stops because this is look all the trees I mean yesterday that one all those trees was almost falling over I was actually afraid to go out here yesterday in other places I think in Sydney so we're in Canberra we're about 300 plus kilometers away from Sydney but they have really really bad storm over there anyway I oh this one's too oh I really want to propagate this Lola oh my goodness they have become monstrous okay but let's go up the top Sorry guys, I just can't get over how beautiful this pink witch is, this Ionium. Oh my goodness. And this poor thing doesn't know what to do, whether it's going to go to sleep or wake up. It sort of closes off and then open again. Because this week we're having 17 degrees and by next Tuesday, so this is one week forecast, so 17, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, slowly going up. So by Tuesday, so from Tuesday today, and the following Tuesday week we're gonna have 17 to 23 degrees now am I gonna go over here I want to go up there Can you see all those stalks that's what we're going to do today we're gonna clean up and how do I set up my camera buying succulents is like cat and mouse game because you don't know what you're gonna get so what I'm showing you here now is this plant and that plant this is Sinocrasula indica as the label says Sinocrasula indica so these three are also Sinocrasula indica. So if I pull back, so you can see that Sinocrasula indica, there, look at that. They are grown in the same area. So I've got them growing here. And when you buy your Sinocrasula indica and you say, my Sinocrasula doesn't look like someone else's Sinocrasula, it's because of this reason. They are, or might be the same plant maybe from the same family but they can look very very different so a lot of you are saying my plant doesn't look like yours and vice versa it's because of that so same plant can have different looks so obviously this one probably the mother plant of this one has been spending a lot of time with more of the greener Sinocrasula mommy or daddy actually daddy <laughs> and then the female side of it is never mind you know what I mean but this one the babies as well look the babies are green and that one the babies are red so when you do buy your plants you have to really 
uh, buy the plant because of the way it looks and not because of the name or the label that's attached to it. So it's good to buy from someone who's got a photo of the plant and saying or indicating that that is exactly the plant you're getting, not one or similar to the one in the picture. I would really like to go up there and clean up that area there, but I think I'm going to do that uh, when the wind dies down because it can be dangerous and also the sun's out so it's going to be really hot for my camera so for the meantime I'm just going to go around with my tequila sunrise which I forgot to remove all the flower stalk and that one there is the flower, the stalk is from that champagne, my pink champagne, so I can't touch that because I want to save the seeds. And also my white champagne is flowering over there as well. So I'm going to leave that one. Now this one, what are you? You are some special glutini caule, <laughs> sticky moonstone, this one. Now this one is also flowering and I really want to save the seeds as well of that one so I'm gonna leave it now this is my Echeveria West Rainbow that's this is my original plant which means that they all came from one mummy plant that was given to me in 2019 so now I only have a one two three four five uh, maybe yeah five plants left and this one that's not gonna grow into a West rainbow or variegated form and this plant has been struggling for a while and I could not work out what's wrong with it so apart from I ran out of granite and so now you can see that the dressing or the top dressing is a little bit sparse and all I've got is bigger pieces of granite I don't have smaller ones like this See if you can see that one. So the smaller grit of granite is what stops the fungus gnats from attacking or laying their eggs under the roots of the plant. So I even put the sticky paper. The sticky paper is only like a week old and look at all the fungus gnats that's in this pot. I mean most, most of it at least came from this pot and of course some of them would have come from other plants. Now after putting the sticky paper on this thing started to show signs of recovering and started growing It's able to breathe and grow again so because I was worried <laughs> that this might die on me so I went and bought another West Rainbow so this one will be a new strain that I can grow from and so this I'm gonna leave it on its original soil I'm not even gonna touch it anymore like a lot of the plants recently I bought uh, with the pots I bought it locally so it came with its own pot still like soil and I got these ones from expert succulent growers as well so that's why I thought I might as well leave them on the soil that they're in and see how well they grow so these are all different plants that I got from this is actually, oh look at this one. Now this one, a Gavoidi silk variegated. So this is silk variegation. I got this from Cell Pilapil. So Cell, if you're watching, this is the plant I got from you, silk variegated. Now it's showing strong lines of variegation. You can see on the side there, it's not silk variegation anymore. It's variegated. So on the bottom leaves are the yellow and green stripe. And on the center it's got silk variegation but I can see a big blotch on that top leaf there. I don't know if you can see that one. Hang on. In the center here it's starting to form that strong yellow and green variegation. So you can see that one there. So but anyway so hopefully it will come out to be a gorgeous beautiful look at that variegated uh, plant but I am not going to change the soil I might repot this but I am going to definitely keep the pot or the soil that it came with so anyway guys uh, I'm gonna bid you adieu and finish my coffee and also this one I don't know what you are but you all oh, highlighter but this highlighter we're gonna highlight this one over here the seeds maybe you have some seeds that you're going to grow from hang on okay it's all dried up so i just pulled it off 
And oh, what happened to you, Ratam? There's a couple of dry. Oh, that wind is oh, it's blowing. Look, it's on my face going whoosh. Can you hear that? Now it's quiet there. <laughs> It comes and goes. Anyway, I'm gonna bid you listen to the wind. Oh my goodness. That's why it's not good to come out here when it's windy. It's sort of concerning because I can have some <laughs> flying ob objects in the air. Hang on, look at these ones now. Look what I've done. <laughs> I'm swinging them. It's like the girl, oh, this is so gorgeous with the yellow. But anyway, they're swinging. What are you? A runways. I'm trying to color it up because it is not doing very well or it's not coloring up over there. It's supposed to go all pink and lovely. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go finish my coffee now. And I have to mix up my soil. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And oh, it's still warm. How about that? Okay, so I bid you adieu, adieu, adieu. I love you. I own you, pink witch. I love my pink witch. <laughs>